Hey everyone, C. Wilson here, and this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus art review. This is it. Samsung has nailed it. The perfect hardware and specs to create the perfect Android tablet for artists. First, let's go ahead and get the tablet specs out the way. The Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is running Android 10, One UI 2.5 and has a beautiful 12.4 OLED display with a resolution of 1752 by 2800 It's powered by the latest Snapdragon 865 Plus, which I believe is one of the first times an Android tablet goes all the way in with tablet specs. There's also configuration of 128GB of storage, or the 256 and 512GB of storage. The higher amount of storage you get, the more RAM you'll get with the 8GB of RAM. Also, the Tab S7 Plus has a micro SD card slot for additional storage, a battery size of 10,090 milliamp hours, and has fast charging via USB Type C. Now, one of the best things, it also has a smooth 120 hertz, and it runs even at max resolution. Now for the pin upgrade. The pin has been upgraded and improved with the 9 millisecond latency, just like the Note 20 Ultra. The pin also now has recessed buttons making it easier to grip as well. And in combination with the 120Hz display, drawing on the Tab S7 Plus is a dream. The pin also magnetically charges on the back, but can also be placed on the top of the tablet, it just won't charge. Overall the pin has been greatly improved. Now checking out my favorite art apps on Android, starting off with Concepts, then followed by Ibis Paint. You can really see the 120Hz combo with this low latency pin really gives it an accurate and gives an instant feedback when drawing. This is something very critical that I don't find all the time happening on my Surface Pro, which is giving this Tab S7 Plus a leg up. And when drawing straight lines, I don't really see any jaggy lines at all. It's perfectly smooth no matter how slow that I go. Uh, this can vary from app to app, but I haven't really experienced any of that change in different apps is just like a small noticeable difference which I can just adjust the stabilization to uh, make that proper adjustments and the only other thing is uh, palm rejection it is kind of lacking on here where if I rest my palm against the screen it will kind of jump to click on something else but otherwise than that the pen is perfectly fine and definitely a joy to use now for my final thoughts and opinions on using the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus Hands down, this is the best Android tablet that money can buy. With the combination of 120Hz display with the bigger screen, the 12.4 inch display, makes this such a dream to draw on. Uh, the fluidity, the, the instant feedback when using the pen, the 9 millisecond latency that goes on with it, it's basically, like I said in the beginning, the perfect combination of specs and hardware, and Samsung has really outdone themselves when making this tablet. Now, personally for me, what I was thinking to myself is, I kept imagining with all the folding devices and using the Surface Duo, I kept thinking, what if I could fold this device to make it more pocketable? But that's just something, maybe even the future when uh, they start to expand their fold line. And also, something that uh, I noticed when using it is the device for ex using the device for extended periods of time when drawing, I ended up uh, feeling a little heat come off of the camera. It wasn't anything too concerning, but it did cause Clip Studio to crash one time. And when it did crash, of course, I was able to get my work back and continue from where I left off at. But it's just something to uh, take notice about. Now, the next thing that I actually was starting to really pay attention to is a lot of people tend to, you know, go at Android for not having too many optimized art applications but um something that I started to think about for my last review using uh, Clip Studio where a lot of people were giving the feedback that there are more art apps for Android out there and then it really dawned on me that the only art application that I hear from users that use iPads is Procreate and that's because artists tend to get one application or maybe two and they tend to stick with that all the time making it what they normally use and once I realized that and started thinking about that even more I realized that when Clip Studio came over and I've been using the uh, Ibis Paint as well that I actually don't have a problem with it because I can fully do full drawn out works and now with Clip Studio I can even do my animations and what you see right now is even me doing the roughs and doing my second pass through 
but that is actually one of the greatest things and using that with this 120 hertz display this is excellent and really i have no complaints about anything so my final thought is this tablet is a must buy especially if you can afford the price range and if you can catch one of those trading deals it makes it even better i bought mine for around 300 some dollars due to trading in my tab s6 and overall once again this is the best tablet that money can buy especially for android i don't even have to use my canvas 13 anymore to connect it because it's almost a downgrade from losing the 120 hertz this refresh rate and just like now i'll go ahead and let you see me doing my drawing you know for the rough pass part two and with that if you have any questions just go ahead drop a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell notification icon to get notified when i drop new content and peace